Thank you for joining me on Psychic Medium, Tony Green. Yep, I am Tony Green, and I didn't really have anything after that. I don't know why intros are so tough for me, probably because I don't have a memorized one. But anyway, here we go. I am going to start this show with a healing. I love to do a little bit of everything on every show. And, you know, the last couple of years have been a little bit challenging for everybody. And we're just now starting to get back in the swing of things. And I want to make sure that we all can keep moving forward in whatever direction is right for us. So whether you're watching me live on YouTube or you are listening on one of the podcasts or you're re-watching on WSCS, um, Rude Rangers TV, Roku, or any of the stations that I am streamed live on, this uh, healing will work. Not only will this healing work this time, but it will work every single time you listen to it. So here we go. Um, all that is keeping us, um, I'm, we are moving forward with all that life has to offer. I get a no, so we're going to clear that. We're moving forward on our correct path. I get a no, we're going to clear that. Oh, um, so we'll do other healings as the show goes on. And we will, um, depending on what people are calling in for. So let's go to... Let's go directly to the first caller. Callers, please, when I call your area code, uh, give me your name, where you're calling in from, and also have an exact question available. Here we go. 310. 310, how are you today? Yes, hello. Hi there. Hi, my name is Susan, and I'm calling from Oklahoma. Hey, Susan. And I was curious if you, hi, <laughs> I was curious if you see um, a romantic connection coming up in the near future. Huh. So my, my answer to you is, what do you consider near? Okay, so I hear there's going to be somebody coming in in June. Now, the person coming in in June. Okay. Um. I, I don't always love saying this, but I think it's better to know than to to know before you get into it than to find out later. Depending on how you handle the situation in June will determine whether this person is just here to play or whether they're here to stay. Um, okay. I do feel like there's also someone coming in in July. Now, the person coming in in July is... Uh, they're using the word steady. This person is more stable, is a better person. However, the person in June, there's more chemistry. Isn't that always the case? Okay. It is. Isn't it like, yes. yeah, oh, it makes <laughs> me crazy, right? So the person in June, I, I just feel like the person in June, you may not, you know, uh, um, this this song is coming into my head and it's making me crazy because it's it's a crazy song. It does it's not even about relationships, but it is. Um, it's that the Gambler by Kenny Rogers. You have to know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, and know right. when to run. Okay, that is they made me say that whole verse to get to know when to run. Don't. Stop this person coming in in June, make sure they're gone by July is basically the message I'm getting. Um, okay. This person doesn't have your best intentions in, um, in mind. And then I'm hearing that song. I think it's a song. Oh gosh. I hope it's, there's a party in my pants. Do you want to come? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, Thank you very much. Anyway, I don't. I don't know if that's a song or if that's just a statement. 
that they were making. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. I need to recompose myself here. Okay. So the person coming in in July, and I'm gonna say mid July. And if I have to knock down a date for you, I'm gonna say July 18th. Or yeah, they're showing me July and the 18th on the calendar. And this person is a much more stable person. Good looking man. Good looking person. Um, this person is going to have a lot more to offer you than a party in his pants. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, that's great. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, and the person coming in in July is very, well, they, I, they just keep saying stable, which we both know what that means for each of us. Everybody has a different idea of stable. But um the person right. in July will want a serious, committed relationship, something that can like stand the test of time, they're saying. Okay, love? Okay, that sounds great. Thank you. You are welcome. So let's do a clearing. Let's do another healing while you're on the line since you called in for a relationship. Let's do a healing okay. on. Uh, we are in. Mm, uh, oh. Uh, we are, I don't even know what to say today. Okay. Uh, we are going to say <clears throat> we are attracting our healthy, perfect partner. And I get a no. So let's, let's heal that or clear that to yes. Ooh, so that's about the six minute mark, folks. If you want to go back and listen to that one, go, go to the six minute mark and that should be there for you. Thank you so much for calling in today. Please keep me posted on this. Okay, sweetie. And I'm sorry, can you? Thank you. I sure will. Okay, I'm sorry. Can you do me a favor? I'm, I'm really sorry. Somebody just stepped in. Um, and I know this isn't why you called. In, it's either for you or the next person, but a, a woman just stepped in from the other side that's older. She was like a grand, what I like to call a grandma age, and she was thinner. Her hair was short. She was cr cr crouched just a little bit when she walked. And you know, when people get older, how they come can sometimes get thinner as they get older, they get, you know, thinner. So she's here and she's actually. Yeah. I want to say at some point she may have had to use a walker and she's in what she's calling her night coat. Do you know who this woman is? Because I feel like this woman is stepping in for you. If not, she's stepping in for. Um, I have I have a couple of grandmas that are in spirit right now that are similar to that description. OK, can I get the first name of either of them? One at a time. Um, one is one is Bessie, and the other is Irene. It's Bessie. Okay, so uh, what she wants, <laughs> what she wants to say is uh, that she wants to let you know that she loves you, and she is saying um, she's better now. I'm be oh, she talks like this, and she's saying, "Oh, I'm so much better now." I'm so much better now. Um, if this, I hope that's how she would have talked a little bit softer. And if, excuse my accent, I'm horrible at any accent. Um, and she's <laughs> she's just saying how she's better now, and she's okay. And um, did she's saying don't don't worry, don't worry about us. And she's speaking for for your whole soul group on the other side. Don't worry about us we're good. We're, we're, we're all here. We're good. And she wants you to know that she is, uh, they, they, they are with you. They are with you and they're helping you and they're bringing in this person and they're saying, be patient, be patient. Um, be very patient uh, when with this, the people, the, the male that is coming in, because he is going to, if, if you are patient, um, you will get the prize. But if you push it, you will get the booby prize. Okay. 
Okay. Excellent. And that they love you. Okay. Of course they love you. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Excellent. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you for calling in. I'm really grateful I was able to uh, help you and connect with you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm grateful for you too. Thank you. But you're welcome. Uh, hey, everybody. Today, uh, my little brother who is um, 40 today is his birthday, February 2nd. And um, hey, Patrick, how are you? Um, I said it on Monday, but I'm going to say it again today because today's his actual birthday. So my little brother, Stevie Oliva, happy birthday. I love you so much. He is just the sweetest little bean. Um, hi, Mimi. How are you? Whoa, my phone is flying. <laughs> Woo. Uh, he's the sweetest little bean. Um and it's kind of a big deal that he's 40 because when Stevie was born, you know, he was born with Down syndrome. And back then, you know, the doctors didn't think he would. Their advice to my mom was very different than what she actually did. And he has had a really full life and he works. And this little dude just loves working. Right now he works at Oscar's Custard and he loves it. I mean, he's so proud. The things that we take for granted, he's so proud to be able to do. So he is always like, if he doesn't have a job, like during the past two years when things were shut down, he was a little bit sad because he felt like he wasn't a man and he wasn't working. And now that everything is kind of um, getting back to normal and he can go to work. He's so happy and he just is so cute and adorable. And he actually has a TikTok page, <laughs> which is why I started a TikTok account because my niece G would go on and, and record him dancing and then put the videos up. And he has a lot of followers on TikTok. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but I think it's Steve and Gianna or Gianna and Steve or something like that. I don't know his TikTok thing. But if you go to my TikTok thing, he's one of the people that I am following on there. And he's just happy birthday, Stevie. I love you so much. Um, okay, let's get back to callers. We are going to go to um, 917. 917, how are you today? I am great, Tony. Um, this is Timothy from New York, and I was just wondering if the Spirit had anything for me in the way of anything new coming up, uh, abundance wise or job wise. I'm a trying to use a law of attraction and trying to make time every day to just ask my guides for assistance to lead me along the way. Okay. Any okay. messages greatly appreciated. Okay. So the first thing I want, I'm sorry, what's your first name, love? Uh, Tim. Okay. The first thing I want to say is um, that you are going to have, you know, I, I, this is going to sound, they're kind of sending the message through very slowly. Um, typically, spirit is is so fast, and and, my, and I speed up, and I'm actually slowing down right now, and kind of going into a um, kind of I have to snap out of it. So I'm going to just clear everything right now, uh, just to make sure everything is clear. The one thing I want to say to you is um, they're asking, you're using the law of attraction, you're using manifestation, and they have two questions for you. And the first one is, what you're trying to attract, do you believe it can come to you? So I'm going to use a really far-fetched example. A lot of people want to win the lottery, let's just say, the big jackpot. And then I ask them, do you believe you can win? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, then stop manifesting it. Because <laughs> if you don't believe something can actually come to you, it might not come to you. And the second question they want to ask you is at your core, and you don't have to answer these questions right now, but at your core, do you believe you deserve what you're asking for? 
Now, we can want things and we can try to bring them to us. But if we don't believe that it's something we deserve, it could be problematic for us. So I'm going to do healing work, clearing. I'm going to ask the angels to come in and remove any eight, um, energies, programs, belief systems that are stopping or blocking us from receiving our manifestations. Who And that is just like a whirly bird going on. Um, and then this song, and if you know this song, I'm going to be so happy because right, it, uh, something like a cyclone, but you know she can do it all night though. I don't know. It's been such a long time. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, if you know the song, you know it. But that's the feeling of the energy going on right now. <laughs> um, that's the feeling of the energy right now. It's just like uh, if you see a tornado and it's really small at the bottom and it gets big at the top. Right now, the energy that they're showing me is this like funnel or tunnel or whatever it's called. And at the bottom, they're sucking everything out and taking it up. Okay. So for everyone listening or re-listening, watching or re-watching, and I do recommend that you come back and you re-watch, especially this thing, which is at about the 16 minute mark to clear or heal what's stopping or blocking us from, um, manifesting. And the way I like to say it is, listen, we are here to create and co-create. So if something's in the way of that, we need to cut it. We need to get that out of here. So there is something stopping or blocking us from creating the life that we want. I get a yes. So let's do a clearing or a healing on that also. Okay, love. And then I feel like June, you are going to have, there's going to be stuff before June, but in June, there's going to be a major breakthrough. Now there's um, an aunt here of yours. I believe it's an aunt. And she is saying, don't forget the small steps. Don't forget the small steps. So we're all about taking those big steps, right? We're all about um, getting to that next big level. But there are a lot of small steps that make that big level really pop for us. So just the biggest message that they want to give you is don't forget that don't skip or don't forget the small steps because the small steps are just as important as that huge leap. Okay, love. Ooh. Okay. Thank you. You are so welcome. Have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. 203, 203. Hey, how are you today? Oh, my goodness, Tony. I didn't expect to get in. It's Pat from Connecticut. I was just pretty much listening. Hey, but Pat. How are you? Good. How are you? Since, some, since someone asked about relationships, I sort of have a funny story, but I'll ask you quickly. What do you think of this person, Doug? Well, the first thing I hear is good. Um Okay, um, now, I, I, as a person, I hear good. Now, if you want to know where is this going, what's going to happen, that's a completely different question. As a person, good. That's not, question. not bad at all. Um, that's see, okay. see, that's the thing. What do I think of Doug? Good. Great person. Uh, the two of you together? No. Uh, um. I, well, here's what I'm going to say. Do you, do you want to know the possibility for the two of you? Is that why you're asking? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, let me see. I'm, you know what? There's potential here. But one thing that I know for a fact is relationships go as far as we let them go. Okay, so if we have fear okay. or insecurities, at some point we will come up with very justifiable reasons or excuses to stop or block this relationship. And you, I'm going to just say there might be one or two 
it's almost like the I'm going to end it before it ends on its own thing. And we're going to clear that now. We're going to start healing that now. And it's Thank that you. thing of finding everything that's wrong so that it, it, um, so that it can't, it can't evolve into something yeah. else. So let's clear that also. Okay. And not for just for you, but for everybody listening, everybody re-listening. This has potential to be a very caring and loving situation. You have to believe that there are men out there that go past. They're really interested in the content of a person. And they're very interested yeah. in the the uh just the content, the heart, the soul, the conversation of the person. They're not only in, interested or primarily interested in the aesthetics of a person. And that the second thing is um, this person isn't, is going to see you completely differently than your past people have seen you. Okay. First and foremost, everyone <laughs> needs to know when we're in a relationship at any point that person that relationship is making us better or it's making us bitter and it once we get out of that relationship um we we are not the same person whether that re relationship made us happy or sadder while we were in it we don't take everything with us forever but we're a different person so the people who show up for us are also different and we have to um, realize that we've grown and we're not those people. So the way new people come in and look at us and treat us is according to who we are today and who we, uh, who, who we became because of the past situation. Now, hopefully we became better versions of ourselves. Okay. And if we did it, what, there's still time right? There's still time. So this person is not going to treat you the way your past people treated you. Uh, you have to show up as who you are today. And we do this when yep. we're on a date or, or we're meeting somebody, we fall back to that first person we were when we started dating or the last person we were when we started dating, we have the, we have our person that's dating our person in relationships, our person at work, our person with friends. And we have to be in that place where we are showing up as somebody new, somebody more evolved and, and happier. This person isn't interested in um, only the physical aspects of a relationship. They really want to get to know you. So give them the opportunity to get to know you and watch where it goes from there. Who? that's the best way I can put that, Pat. I hope that's helpful. That's perfect. Can I tell you the funny way it started? Sure. Real quick. I, I tried to join a single site, a new one, and I was only going to, well, actually, I wasn't going to pay. And then I came across him and he has everything that I want, but I don't know his personality, but everything where he's living, what he's interested in, what he wants to do. It's like almost perfect. Um, he's a physicist. Wow. That's a little intimidating. But so I tried to do a dollar for a trial offer and then four ninety five, and I immediately got a call from a, a banking system saying that they had fraudulently charged me close to $40. Oh, wow. So if, and I thought, what is, is this Mercury retrograde or is this voting about this guy or just ignore it? What I did find out because he's a physicist is I found out who he was and I found his email. So I'm going to email him, which is quite forward, but that's it. Nice. Nice. See, in the end, you get your path, right? The right path, the right way to do isn't, it, right? Isn't that something? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> through, through, through. Through a fraudulent charge. It was very, you know, interesting. I don't know why it happened that way. But I was a little worried that it was saying, the universe was saying, no, no, not this guy. But then again, it helped me find him and his email address. Uh, and, you know, what I will say is I'm not a big fan of dating sites um, for oh, a man. lot of different reasons. <laughs> However, some people do meet on dating sites and have a really good experience. Um, 
And I know over the past couple of years, it's been difficult to meet people organically, but I feel like we're going to be out and about and meeting people more organically again. And I would really encourage everybody to do that. Do the face-to-face, -face, not the phone-to-phone -phone thing. Okay, love? Yes, that's, that's great. Thank you so much, Tony. I love you. Love Talk you to you too. Again. You have an absolutely amazing rest of the week. Thank you. I'm going to go to the very next corn, caller corner. What's the corner? Um, three, four, seven. Hey, three, four, seven. How are you doing today? Hello. Good. I can barely hear you. So can you Hello? do me a favor and fix your phone? Can you hear me now? Yep, much better. Thank you. Hey. Okay, what's your name? Uh, Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Linda. I'm calling from New York. Okay, Linda, how can I help you today? Well, I just want to know if um, anything like positive for the month of February. Okay. Give me a little second here. Okay. So Linda, the one thing that I can say for you is there is some changes coming in for you. There are changes coming in for you. There are quite a few changes coming in for you. And in the month of February, you are going to be finding... I don't know if this is finding funds or finding, I think you're going to be finding funds. Um, and I don't know how literally Fun? funds, F-U-N-D-S, like money, finding funds or funding, oh. finding either funds or fi funding. So what I'm going to say to you is that... I would pay attention to your surroundings. I don't know. I think that you are going to uh, find some funds or funding in the month of February. Whatever that means for you, I would pay attention to it and um, and and move uh, move with it when you get when you find it move with it. Thank you, love. Until next time, um, please enjoy the rest of your week.